here. We're recording this meeting, so you should see a notice that just popped up there for folks who want to listen again or share it with their colleagues and for folks who weren't able to tune in today. The recording will get posted to the OEB Wellness Champion web page. So I am going to turn this over to Christy to have us do a little uh, warm up icebreaker. Yeah, welcome. Um, I'm Christy Straw and I'm a health promotion and wellness consultant at Moda Health. Um, we're going to use the chat feature. Um, and I know that this is kind of the holiday season in which we all celebrate holidays differently. We all have different um, traditions, different things we do with our families and our friends. Um, but it's also a great time to learn about how people celebrate this time of year. Um, and so one of my favorite things to do is to learn about different traditions or activities that people love to do only just to incorporate in my own um, kind of holiday season. And so your kind of icebreaker question is to share your favorite tradition or activity during the holiday season. And those of you who are on the computer, you should see a chat function at the top of your screen. There's people, chat, reactions, uh, different uh, buttons. Check the chat and there'll be a box that comes up that says type a new message. And that's where you can put your um, favorite winter or holiday tradition or activity in there. Hmm. And I'll read them out loud as I see them come up. Matching PJs, like tops and bottoms matching or matching mm -hmm. with other people? Family matching PJs. <laughs> Family games. Oh, I'd love to know what they are if they're board games. We just did a board game night the other night with some friends and we were like, we're, we're bored with our games. We need to come up with some new ones. <laughs> Baking cookies, I love it. Mm. Uh, when I was a child, my dad made a manger for my baby doll. I wrapped it in a small blanket and placed it under the tree. It was there for several mm. decades. That is really sweet. Cousin match PJs on Christmas Eve and read a Christmas story. Cooking and eating special foods, board games, staying up for New Year's with the entire family. Wrapping paper fights. <laughs> I'm guessing that's like snowballs. <laughs> oh. I'm going to put mine in there. Uh, that's what we told grandma, those <laughs> the wrapping paper fights. <laughs> So I put in there, it's always fun to decorate a tree. I still get a tree every year. And um, I always, you know, pulling out all the ornaments, I, I forget year to year. Oh, I forgot we had that one. Or, oh, I remember when we got this one. And then when my mom died, I got a um, box of ornaments that I had, she and I had collected over the years, which are those porcelain angels that Margaret Furlong does. She's an Oregon artist and they're just beautiful porcelain angels in the shape of a, um, of a, um, a scallop shell. And uh, those are always fun. And she does a different, different angel design every year. Uh, picnic dinner by the Christmas tree with my spouse and two kids. Wow. A picnic dinner at the, tr at the Christmas tree. Very fun. Well, thank you, everyone. Those are some great ideas. I love it. Mm -hmm. So, um, Stephanie, would you please scroll the agenda down just a little bit so we can see what's coming up next? We've got Fancy Flores here. 
from the Healthy You program. She's going to run us through the Healthy You wellness portal. And I think that means we're going to be turning over the controls to her so she can share her screen. Is that right, Fancy? Yes. Okay. And I just unshared mine. Thank you. So I think everybody should be able to see my screen now. So thank you all so much for being here. I'm Fancy Flores, your Healthy You Program Manager. Um, I work for WebMD, so you'll see that it's the Healthy You Program um, powered by WebMD1. So the main thing is the wellness portal, and we'll also talk about some of the offerings that are available outside of the portal. But if you haven't been here, this is what the login page looks like, and pretty much every communication from the Healthy You program or from WebMD will have the link, but I'll also put it in the chat afterwards. And so if you haven't created an account yet, you'll just um, go to create an account. And it flows pretty much just like registering for any website. The main thing here are the first two. You'll need your um, OEB e number, which can be found in your benefits package information, as well as the uh, school or college that you work for. Now, your spouse or domestic partner or children over or you know anybody over the age of 18, your dependents also have access to this website. So um, just keep that in mind. They'll need their e number as well as to know which school and or college that you work for. So after that, it flows pretty easily, just creating a username and password. So once you are in the site, this is what your home page looks like. And you can personalize this. So we'll start here at the top with your interests. Now, when you first register, it'll have um, probably like nutrition, exercise, some basic interests. But if you click on this and decide, um, well, I'm not interested in stress, I'll keep sleep, um, maybe add cholesterol, then it'll modify your home page to your interests. And there's a few other ways that you can also modify um, or tailor your home page to the things that you're interested in. So then these cards um, will reflect what you picked. And then you can, it'll lead you to um, our daily habits program. Now, I like this because it helps you kind of narrow down some wellness goals based on the topic. And that, like it sounds, daily habits, it's uh, something that, um, you know, you kind of check in every day. Did you meet your goals the day before? And so I find that it, it really helps motivate me. It's self-directed, so it's not necessarily working with a health coach or anything. It is um, setting your goals and then... Um, I like to say, keeping me honest, I go in there every day. Okay, did I meet my sleep goals? Did I get seven hours of sleep? So um, I would highly recommend this. And that, that's one way to get to it. But if you go to the to-do, you can see that there are 13 different plans here. So if anything else piques your interest, you can work on up to three plans at a time. I wouldn't recommend three at a time. That's It's a, been a little much for me, but I like one or two. And each one uh, varies uh, depending on the topic. Some are 60 days, uh, some are 30 days. So something worth uh, checking out. And then you can also either report or log every day in the desktop version or the app. So you can always get back to your home page by clicking on My Health. And then of course, once you select a daily habit uh, plan, it'll show up here. Now, also based on these interests, these health trackers will pop up. Now, I know we all like to track things like our steps and our sleep. And, you know, with all of our uh, smart devices, they do track a lot of things, which you can sync a device um, up to the Healthy You portal. But you'll see here these that have been selected for me, and then you can pin them or unpin them. But there are there is a huge variety here. Thing, some things that are like daily trackers, like steps or stress, and then other things like uh, mammogram, colonoscopy, that will lead you to the, you know, if you go to other, all of the different things that you can track in your health record. Now, I like this because it's basically a one-stop shop of 
all of my information because sometimes I go to the doctor and they'll ask me questions or I'm in, or filling out forms and it's like, when was the last time I had that done? When was the last time I went and got an eye exam? So rather than the old way I used to do it for myself, I used to keep an Excel spreadsheet. Now I use this and just um, have it all on the app. That way, you know, wherever I'm at, I can say, okay, this is the last time that I had a colonoscopy, you know, especially for things that we don't have every year. Um, sometimes we kind of forget of how long ago was that. So you can also upload documents. So if you did get a letter in the mail, rather than filing it away, you know, in a, a paper file, you can upload it here and just have all of that handy. And also immunizations as well. So I'm going to go back out to the home page here. Now things that you're working on, again, if you have a daily habit uh, program, it'll show up here. And community is something fairly new. This is basically like internal social media. You can pick a group um, that you would like to be a part of. So that kind of sets the tone of what your post would be like. Um, and you'll see here, CF is for Coach Fancy. And you can comment here. There's a general group that everybody's a part of, but then you can pick specific ones. And what I like about this is that it is just OWEB members. So it's not, you know, across the country or anything like that. So you could ask specific questions like I need recommendations um, for a yoga studio in Bend or something like that. Um, so that's very helpful because you are only talking to OWEB members. Or if you want to share anything for that matter, it would just be going to OWEB members. And then the rest of your home page is going to be just various resources. Um, you'll find information that's specific to um, uh, OEB or the thing, the uh, things that I lead, like the <clears throat> excuse me, the webinars and the weekly energizers, um, the links to the recordings. It's all right here, as well as just some of the new articles that WebMD has put out. We also have a series of mental health podcasts. So if you click on this link, it'll take you, I think right now there's like 50 to 60 different uh, podcasts for you. Now I do want to point out these videos here because in the energizers, if anybody attends those, we do guided meditations, guided breathing exercises, and we only meet once a week. So if you are somebody that likes to have those on a daily basis, um, there are guided breathing exercises, guided meditations, and they are nicely laid out into two, five, and 10 minutes. So if you know you only have five minutes or you know you only have two minutes, you can kind of pick and choose here. And then, of course, there's exercise videos, um, cooking videos, a lot of great options there. And I know we're close to running out of time here. So your other tab here is your OEB tab. This is a resource hub. So you'll see things that are specific to OEB, um, like my uh, profile here, in case you want to know my background. Um, the uh, schedule for the energizers, if you miss the webinar, um, the newsletter, um, also the uh, webinar this week, or yeah, it's actually happening this week on Thursday. So if you want to join that, we try to keep this information very timely. So hopefully you're not seeing a link for an October webinar or anything like that. Um, then you'll see the information uh, with your other vendors and your other partners like the EAP program, as well as links out to Moda and Kaiser. So before we wrap up, I always want to talk about the one thing that WebMD is known for, the symptom checker. Usually when I tell people I work for WebMD, they're like, yeah, that symptom checker. So if you go to resources, this has everything. And then you can always go to the symptom checker, and that's also available on the app as well. So uh, just want to be careful and not get uh, stressed out by using the symptom checker or any of those trackers. I know uh, sometimes they, it can be a little bit like, oh my gosh, that's what I have. <laughs> just taking it with a grain of salt.
<laughs> but um, I'll put the link in the chat. And of course, you can always reach out to me if you have any questions, but I thank you all so much. Thank you, Fancy. That was a real quick run through this very, very rich resource. There's, as you can see, there's a lot to it. Um, and Fancy is, I believe, available to uh, do this at your workplace through virtually. So if you want to pull together your wellness committee or pull together your colleagues or uh, a staff meeting and have her take uh, just what she did today with your group of employees, she's happy to do that. Just reach out to her. Okay, well, thanks again, Fancy. And next we're going to hear from uh, Lisa Iverson. This is our success story for this mm -hmm. month. She is the principal and wellness coordinator at Turner Elementary. And um, is this the Turner that's near Salem? Is that the Cascade yes. School? It is, okay, so outside of the Salem area. Um, and she's going to walk us through her wellness program there. And so Stephanie is going to pull up the document that you sent Lisa and we you can walk us through that and she'll progress the slides for you. Great. Hey, thank you so much and thank you for having me and thank you for this incredible grant and opportunity. Because it was if the stars kind of aligned last year. I had actually worked at the high school for 20 years. A few years ago we had the larger OEA grant and you know I was a beneficiary of that with workouts and and getting our cholesterol and everything tested but that was uh, more than a decade ago and it had kind of you know the people that were here and in charge of that had it had kind of fallen away and wasn't an emphasis well last year was my first year as principal of Turner Elementary and I was looking for grants and opportunities to do some kind of wellness, something to support our staff. And I came across the OEA grant and applied. And it just so happened that Turner Elementary, it's a hundred year old building that hadn't been cleaned out for a while. So we actually, the stage that you see there was just used for storage for years. It didn't have any other purpose other than storage. So I filled a couple dumpsters with a friend of mine. We cleaned it out. Uh, and upon receiving the grant, we created a fitness center. I came up with a plan with the help and guidance of Inga and others for the ABCs of wellness, A being athleticism, having a place to work out with workout equipment. We also were afforded with the grant a personal trainer that came weekly and, and we had to group workouts every Thursday right after school. Behaviors, I really appreciated the input from OEA to not do anything with numbers, but to focus on behaviors. Starting in January, because that's when I received the grant, we had weekly wellness challenges everything from drinking enough water to getting enough sleep to steps. It was really focused on behaviors. And the collaboration piece came just from the fun of us working out together. 95% of all staff, including instruct classified and certified, worked out every week with the trainer. They participated in the challenges. And those that participated each week we put their names in a drawing for prizes associated with that challenge, like getting enough sleep was a soft blanket. Drinking enough water resulted in a water bottle, you know, et cetera. And all the equipment you see there, it, it also just so happened that a friend of mine worked at PH Tech and they were being consolidated into Providence. And anyway, they gave us some of their equipment they needed to get rid of. So the treadmill, the stair stepper, the complete set of free weights from five to 70 pounds were all donated. We also, a few years ago, I started going monthly to Amazon. There's a partnership with United Way where you can go to the warehouse and anything they don't sell that's new, they either have to give away through community partners or destroy. So a lot of the mats you see that cupboard, that cabinet that's full of the stretch bands. Actually, that cabinet's full of just a Pilates bar. That's all from the Amazon United Way connection. So we have a complete fitness workout room on campus. We have a key code so staff can use that 24 seven. 
I'm happy to report that even though the grant had to be uh, spent in year one, I had to have all reporting done by this October. The fitness center is still used because they can key in anytime they want, including weekends. We have everything that um, Anytime Fitness has except the machine type weights, but we have all free weights, weight bar. Uh, you see the uh, cross country machine, the rowing machine, all of those were purchased new with the grant. Uh, as far as the feedback from the staff, they do miss the weekly delivery of vegetables for the staff room from Cascade Fruit and Vegetable. But, you know, having that grant was amazing. It developed healthy habits, but some of those things were not sustainable in my current budget. But what is sustainable are the workouts. The PE teacher went ahead and made his goal to continue the staff workout. So we're still having a weekly group workout in the gym, which is right, you know, the stage is um, right over the gym area. So that still continues to this day. I feel like this wellness program was transformative. And we, when we have an opening, a lot, a lot of schools struggle to find applicants. When we had more applicants than we knew what to do with when we had an opening. And when I show people, new employees, what they have access to, including our new instructional assistants, that's just a great perk for working at Turner Elementary as well, besides just you know great kids and a good climate. So I'll be happy to ask any, oh, the Amazon information. Well, if there's any questions, I'd be happy to answer them for you. Looks like you're gonna put that information in the chat, Lisa, about the yeah. Amazon, great. Yes, it's through, it's called, in fact, let me check my email. So monthly, you would get uh, good, it's called Good360. And Coleman Crocker is in charge of that. And each month you go to the warehouse over by the railroad tracks in Salem. And there's a giant warehouse of brand new Amazon goods that are for nonprofits. So the first step, and I believe Salem Kaiser School District has signed up. So the first step is signing up as a nonprofit. And then they will send you an email with the times that you can go. And because most nonprofits in our area, you know, they're, the food goes very fast and, you know, children's toys get picked up very quickly. But actually two times a year, I get a huge shipment of toys for our school that are brand new. But since, since not a lot of the community partners are fitness related, they have tons of fitness type things. So, and I'll, yeah, any other questions or anything? So did I hear you right, Lisa, that you have to have a nonprofit status first to be eligible for this yeah. Amazon program? Or a pub, yeah, any public school though. Oh, I yeah. know, you know, Arches program, public schools. I mean, one, I have a outside cascade or now I'm turning it into an outside Turner program to take kids outside and camp and things. I mean, last year they just happened to have a shipment of tents and I was able to get around six tents. You just don't know what, and then sometimes they have the things that you wonder why they ever make it because why would anyone buy that? You know, the plastic, whatever it is, and they have that too. But I'm, I'm actually getting his email so that anyone that wanted to find out a bit more can. Thank you, that's really helpful. Yeah. And it's Coleman Crocker through United Way. He's in, he is the coordinator of this and I'll put his name right there. It's small, but it's Coleman Crocker at United Way. It mwv.org. Great, so that's C Crocker at United Way. There it M is, thank you, Stephanie. There we go. Yeah. MWV.org. Thank you. Thank you, Stephanie. You're welcome. As a tip, if you're ever copy and pasting something into Teams, if you do Control Shift T, it will remove any of the formatting so it doesn't copy what the email looks like. Okay, thank you. So many tricks. Yeah. Did you need me to forward on a page? 
Yes, please. And so I'll provide an overview. I kind of gave the whole overview, but there are the different wellness challenges. If anyone is looking, I you know, did some research for ideas about different challenges, everything. Our PE department, he does a great jump challenge for kids. So we made sure we did that the same week and many staff member went into the gym and jumped rope with kids. We had the eating enough fruits and vegetables challenge, which since we had the weekly delivery from Cascade Fruit and they miss staff reports that they miss the challenges. I know there is a smaller grant that they wanted my program in place for a year prior to applying, but it's also like if I, I don't want to apply just to do what we were doing for a few months, but efforts to make what we were doing more sustainable because the staff really enjoyed the weekly challenges and would like to keep those up. Of course, everyone loved the personal trainer, but that was one of those grant specific activities. And, and he was great too. Um, I found him uh, a friend of a friend and he really specialized in functional fitness, not, not a size, not what, you know, what the scale says but an overall functional fitness. His degree is from George Fox in just an overall approach to health and wellness that everyone really appreciated. So you're getting lots of um, kudos in the chat, Lisa, from folks saying they are just amazed at what you've been able to do and offer to the um, staff there at Turner Elementary. I did put in the chat that um, Lisa is an OEA Choice Trust grant recipient, and the grant that she referenced earlier is um, the applications and information can be found at the link that I put in the chat. But Inga, who she mentioned mm -hmm. from OEA Choice Trust, is uh, going to be presenting the grant opportunities that they offer, and they have several. We also have grant uh, application and opportunities from Moda Health and from Kaiser Permanente. So all of those grants are gonna be presented at these meetings, You, um, but the OEA Choice Trust link that goes takes you directly to their website and their grant information is in the chat. And, and Inga was an incredible source because focusing on the, the habits, that really resonated with people. It wasn't a pressure about there wasn't anything associated with oh, who lost the greatest percent or anything like that. Oh, and the other thing we spent money on, which was really fun, uh, oh, I, I'm sure there's a lot of them. We did, we had to each pay, it was like, it was $7 a person, but we did one of those steps and where we did the whole entire Pacific Crest Trail, one of those trackers and everybody purchased some kind of tracker themselves. And that was really fun because as a group, we did complete the entire Pacific Crest Trail. And then we made it, you know, we did a Newport to Boston and made it like to Minnesota. So that was, people got really super competitive about that, but in a fun way, we did it by teams. And then the teams received um, one of the fitness type prizes too. So that was really fun. And could you advance ahead? I think there's a couple other pages just to go over that. Oh, there's just some pictures of people working out in our gym, which is, again, the stage is right there, going through the different trainings with the personal trainer. And he set up stations, so with the equipment we had. And if you could go forward one more time, I think we have one more. Okay. And it's just, I think the success of the grant was having a place, opportunities, the incentives made it fun, the support that we gave through each to each other, um, the weekly fruit and vegetable boxes delivered to the staff room was a very positive and a benefit. You know, we talk about people leaving the profession in droves, and I think our district is really committed to looking at ways we can retain people not only looking at the salary schedule and working conditions, but also what kind of benefits can we give our staff? And there's a couple, if you go ahead one more, um, I just said as part of my reporting for the grant, I asked if anyone has anything they'd like to say or how this benefited them, would you please send me an email? 
and that's you know people who are very responsive positive and want to keep it going so thank you so much for everything Thank you, Lisa. This is terrific. I wish we were able to give you more time to present because I know that um, <laughs> I know that there's a there was a lot to this. But I um, thank you for presenting how it all came together, where the money came from, and what the results were. Um, folks have been putting things in the chats about how amazing this is. But do you have any questions for Lisa? I don't want to volunteer you, Lisa, um, oh, to fine. be contact, but if you are willing to be a contact for folks, if they have qu any questions, um, let me know and I can share oh. your contact information with everyone. Oh, anytime. And if they want to see the, the newsletter, any other reporting, I have the spreadsheet of what I spent money on, anything, um, anything at all. And I, like I said, if you do apply for the grant, Inga was an incredible resource as far as that whole philosophy of habits, support, collaboration. And it was an incredible opportunity for our school and we'll have all that equipment for years to come. Mm -hmm. So very much appreciated. Thank you. Thank you, Lisa. I know you need to get off to your um, superintendent's meeting. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, and Joni wants to know if you want to come work in Rogue, Rogue Valley, just saying. <laughs> I see that, but I've been at Cascade for 22 years and we kind of, my husband and I both work for the school district and we just found our family here, but thank you. And anything you want ideas about, uh, please don't hesitate to email and I'll put my email in there as well. I always joke I have more ideas than time and money, but there you go. So thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Lisa. I want to put a plug in also uh, in addition to what Lisa shared for OEA Choice Trust. You, When you apply for funds and receive funds from them, it's not like they just hand you some money and say, you know, go figure it out. They have staff that are assigned to help you with that. So don't feel like you have to have every detail figured out because they've got professionals there that can help you work through how you're going to actually use those funds and get a program or get something off the ground. Nice. So it's L Iverson at cascade.k12.or.us. Yeah. Great. Well, this is the time of the meeting where we open it up to folks if they have questions, if they've got problems they want to pose out to the group and get ideas from or solutions or if there's something that you're struggling with and you want to hear how other folks may have figured it out or worked on it, um, now is the time to, to share. So does anyone have anything that's going on, that, even something that they want to toot their horn about? We'd love to hear about it. Hello, I'm Angela. I'm from Angela. McNinville High School, McNinville School District, and uh, I'm just echoing what Lisa had been sharing. We are just wrapping up a mini grant from OEA that has been similarly really helpful. So a, a year of um, bringing people together and just getting the conversation about wellness going is, is useful. And I really appreciated Lisa's uh, kind of underscoring of the idea that there are a lot of ways to create um, a sense of value added for our educators, and that really makes a difference for our kids and their learning when we're healthy. So, um, yeah, OEA has been a big support to getting the ball running, rolling for us this year. Great. Well, you may hear from me, Angela, um, to share your grant success story <laughs> at one of our future meetings because it's just. You know, I, I, none of us are the ones that are doing the work. You all are doing the work, and it's best um, to sh for you to share your success stories because it's so much more meaningful for others to hear it from the folks who are actually doing the work. 
that's a sweet um, invitation. I'd be glad to help out. However, I would need to just remind everyone that it was a mini grant. <laughs> so the, the scope of what we've been able to accomplish is on a smaller scale, but still it moves us in a good direction. And I think that's what it's all about. Great. You made a good, a good point, Angela, that sometimes just getting the conversation started and getting people kind of on the same page with how the importance of what it addressing, you know, and supporting staff wellness and how can we do that in a way that people are going to be engaged and, and want to participate. That can be a, a big accomplishment in and of itself if you're starting from scratch. So don't don't uh, short sh short change yourself on how much work that can be. I appreciate that. It is about the momentum and, you know, in a lot of ways, wellness uh, sells itself because when people start to feel better, they can't stop um, help but think about it. Sorry, talk about it. So it's not yeah. it's not a hard sell. <laughs> yeah. They become your your champions for you once they've bought into it and, and they're reaping the benefits. Yeah. So Sherry says she has to leave for a book study. Thank you for the information. Thank you for being here, Sherry. I'm glad we were able to change the time. I were, I, the, there are folks in this meeting who haven't been able to attend in the past, so there are several new people here today. So I think this was a good decision. And thank you, Angela, for letting me know that three o'clock, it just doesn't work. So I think that was true for a lot of folks. I'm so grateful. It feels good to be here. And it was, I, I don't remember who I got to be on the call with last time, but we sat there thinking, oh, we made it. And then it was really kind of you to respond to our desire to join. So thank you. Yeah, you're welcome. What else is happening out there in schools and school districts across the state? Well, if folks are feeling like this um, fit the bill and you got what you needed, I want to wish everyone a very uh, happy rest of the month. And whatever your tradition or no tradition, please be safe and healthy. And um, we will see everyone in January. Our next meeting is on Monday the 9th. So we'll see you then. And if you've got any Thank questions Lisa. or anything comes up, reach out to me. And this recording will be on the website in the next week or so. It looks like Lisa sent one last message. She said, thank you to everyone for listening. Happy holidays. I want to add a picnic around the tree as one of the ideas from here. Love learning from others. Have to duck into another meeting. Goodbye. Thanks again. Great. Thanks, everybody. Thank you. Bye, everybody. Bye-bye. Thank you.